If you're in tech, you've definitely heard the debate raging. AI engineer versus software engineer. But what is the real difference? Today, we're going to cut through all the hype and show you what actually separates these roles, where they overlap, and most importantly, why your career in the next few years might just depend on understanding both. So, which path is the right one for you? It's a huge question, and a lot of people are asking it right now. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just getting started, by the end of this, you're going to have a much clearer picture of what really matters for the future. So, let's get right into it. Here's our game plan. We'll start with the basic definitions, then we'll jump into the surprising overlap between them. After that, we'll get into the real difference, the mindset. Then, of course, the part you're probably waiting for, career, salary, and the future. And we'll wrap it all up by looking at what we call the AI-powered engineer. All right, part one. Before we can really compare these two roles, we need to be on the same page about what they are. Think of them as the two foundational pillars of modern technology. So first up, the AI engineer. At their core, they build systems that learn from data. But here's what's absolutely crucial. They aren't just researchers playing with models. An AI engineer's real job is to take an experimental model out of the lab and make it work in the real world, reliably, securely, and a massive scale. Think of the fraud detection system on your banking app. The AI engineer is the one who makes that system smart enough to actually work, using tools like Python, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. On the other side of the coin, you have the software engineer. These are the folks who build the rock-solid backbone of our digital lives. They create reliable, maintainable systems that everything else depends on. Using that same banking app example, the software engineer is the one who builds the login system, the part that shows your balance, the transaction database, basically the entire foundation that the fancy AI model needs to even exist. They're typically using languages like Java, Go, or .NET. So if you want to boil it all down to one simple idea, here it is. AI engineers are focused on data and models. Software engineers are focused on logic and architecture. They might start in different places, but as you're about to see, their paths are converging, and they're converging fast. Now for section two, because this isn't a simple either or choice. In fact, this is where the lines between these two roles start to get really, really blurry. Check this number out, 60%. Yeah, if you're a software engineer right now, you probably already have about 60% of the skills you need to move into AI. That's a huge head start. And why is that? Well, it's because modern AI isn't just an algorithm in a textbook. It runs inside complex applications, on the cloud, through data pipelines, all things built with classic software engineering principles. And you can see that shared foundation perfectly right here. Both roles demand top-notch skills in coding, system design, testing, and making things scale. The specialization really just happens at the very end. AI engineers go super deep on things like data pipelines and transformer models. You know, the stuff that powers tools like ChatGPT. Meanwhile, software engineers are focused on APIs and microservices. But that core? It's practically identical. But you know what? The biggest difference isn't the tools you use or the skills you list on a resume. It's something much deeper. It's all about how you think. This right here, this is the heart of it all. Software engineers are trained from day one to think deterministically. It's a world of pure logic. If you give the system input A, you must get output B every single time without fail. But AI engineers, they live in a probabilistic world. They don't write explicit rules. Instead, they give a system a ton of data and help it learn the best possible connection between A and B. It means you have to be comfortable with uncertainty. Just let that sink in for a minute. The biggest difference isn't the tools, it's the mindset. Once you really get this, the whole debate starts to make so much more sense. The hardest part of switching from software to AI isn't learning a new Python library. It's training your brain to go from a world of absolute certainty to a world of calculated guesses. Okay, let's get practical. How does all this talk about mindset actually translate into jobs, paychecks, and what the future looks like? Let's talk numbers. As of right now, if you're a specialized AI engineer, you can often expect a higher starting salary. We're talking anywhere from 20 to 40% more. The demand for people who can actually put AI into production is just off the charts, especially in hot areas like generative AI. But, and this is a big but, there is a trade-off. While those top AI salaries are super high, traditional software engineering roles offer a much, much wider range of stable opportunities. 
I mean, literally every company in every industry needs software engineers. So the real power move isn't about choosing one or the other. It's about building expertise in both. You've probably heard this famous quote from Marc Andreessen. For over a decade, the big idea was that every company was becoming a software company. Well, now we're seeing the next step in that evolution. Today, it feels like every piece of software is becoming an AI-powered piece of software. And you can see this trend so clearly when you look back. We went from traditional software on servers in a closet to the cloud. The cloud made it possible to collect massive amounts of data, big data, and all that data became the fuel for the AI fire we're seeing today. Each step builds on the last, and AI is just the next logical phase of this whole journey. So all of this brings us to the grand finale, the synthesis of these two paths into the engineer who's going to build tomorrow's world. And really, this is the bottom line. The whole debate of AI versus software engineer, it's quickly becoming obsolete. The future isn't about picking a side. It's about becoming a new kind of hybrid, the AI-powered software engineer, someone who can build incredibly robust systems and make them intelligent. This is probably the single most important thing to take away from our entire chat today. It's not about some scary AI coming for your job. It's about a person who masters this new, powerful tool for placing the person who refuses to learn it. AI is a tool, and the engineers who learn how to use it are the ones who are going to be building everything that matters. So, what can you actually do about it? Well, if you're a software engineer now, start learning the fundamentals of AI. You don't have to become a PhD researcher, but you need to understand the basics. And if you're coming from an AI background, you need to double down on your core software architecture and DevOps skills. It's all about bridging that gap from both sides. The lines are blurring, the skills are merging, and the opportunity is just immense. The question is no longer about which job title you have. The question is whether you have the hybrid skills to create the next generation of truly intelligent applications. So are you ready?